As part of your computer repair toolkit, I recommend using the System File Checker tool, which repairs missing or corrupt files on your computer and should be run routinely once a month or so anyway. Uh, and also part of a computer cleanup. And also if you want to give your computer an MOT, then I recommend the System File Checker tool as one of the repair tools that you should be using to repair your computer. Now we're going to use a System File Checker, otherwise known as SFC, and we're going to use the command prompt, which allows us to communicate with the computer at the system level uh, using some commands. Uh, and, to, and to do this, we need the command prompt, uh, which is an advanced tool that I'm gonna show you how to use. It's very easy to use for this particular repair. So the first thing we want to do is take the pointer down to the search box and left click once into it. Then what we want to do is type CMD, for short for command. The command prompt app will appear in the menu and I want you to go over to run as administrator and left click once. Click on yes. And now the command prompt appears we can use the Windows command prompt to communicate with our computer at the system level for all sorts of things. But in this particular instance, we just want to use it for the system file checking tool. I want you to type in SFC forward slash scan now. Scan now is all one word. So it's SFC, all lowercase, space, forward slash, scan now. Press the enter key. Your computer will now scan the system to find any corrupt files in the system. Uh, and this is a great tool to use as part of your computer repair toolkit. Will help speed the computer up. And very often can find problems and will fix them at the same time. But it does take a few minutes. We're going to come back in about 20 minutes to half an hour. Once the system scan tool has finished its scan of your computer, uh, it will tell you whether it found any integrity violations or system violations on your computer. Uh, in this case, it didn't find any, which is all good, but otherwise it will tell you what it's found and also will attempt to fix any violations that it finds. It will fix any system violations that it finds automatically. And once you see the command prompt here with system, next to system 32, you'll know that the scan and fix has been completed and you can just click onto the cross and close it down and then you can move on to your next repair.